Hi and welcome to Belgian diecast restorations. I'm Johan and today we have another German model on the workbench. This 160 scale Ford Transit police combi bus was produced by Ziku from 1971 up to 1974. It's officially called a Polizeimannschaftswagen, which means as much as a police personnel transporter. This police van has been in quite some rides. It's dirty, the paint is damaged, the windows and the beacons are scratched and there are some pits in the plastic front grille. At the driver door, the rear hatch and the antenna on the roof are all missing. I will try to restore this model as close to original as possible. So let's get out the tools and give this model a makeover. The model is held by one rivet in the front and a lip in the back. I drill it out and the bottom plate comes away. The bottom plate holds the wheels and two steel suspension rods which are common in the Ziku V-series. The interior consists of two parts. There's a generic interior that was used in all four transit models by Ziku, but for this police van a separate unit with seats was added. Finally we have the window piece, which also holds the rear door in place. It explains why most of these models have their rear door missing. Once the plastic slab breaks, the door falls out. The beacons are separate and fixed in holes in the window unit. With all the parts removed, we are left with a body that still contains the jeweled headlights. There's no hole in the back like with the Corgi Rootmaster I did earlier. I do my best to pry them out, but the jewels are mounted in a very fragile plastic cup which is tightly wedged into the hole. There's no way to get these out without destroying the plastic cups which have become brittle over time. The first jewel comes out of the cup, the second cup snaps clean off. Well, problems are there to be solved, so keep watching. Since I still don't have a solution for the headlights, I drill out the remains of the plastic cups and drill right through to provide access from the rear. There are no third-party parts for Ziku V-Series models, so I have to rely heavily on parts cars for restoration. I'm in luck and found a passenger door and a rear hatch for the Ford Transit in my parts drawers. The body and the doors go into the caustic soda to remove the paint. Afterwards, they are polished with the wire brush to prepare them for the new paint job. Next I drill a 1.5mm pilot hole in the rivet post and tap a 2mm screw thread. Since we're spraying this model with a light color, the body and the doors receive a coat of white primer. 
I use Vallejo Hobby Paint for this. Like most emergency vehicles of that period, this Ford Transit fan was painted in an off-white. After some testing I found that Vallejo Model Air 71270 white is a very close match and is perfect for old ambulances and police vehicles. I also did a test with Vallejo aged white, but that was a bit too dark. When the color coat has dried, it's time for some detailing. I bring out the reflectors of the headlights with Molotov Chrome and do the same with the taillights. There are probably ways to fix or repair these jeweled headlights, but for now there's no way I could have saved them and have it look clean and believable. And if I had left them on, they would have disintegrated in the caustic soda anyway. Instead I found these small tack nails with a domed head. They fit neatly through the hole and the round head is virtually the same size as a Ford Transit headlight. I use a toothpick to apply a drop of super glue on the nails and slide them inside the holes where the cups of the jeweled headlights once were. Next I give the domed heads a coat of malt of chrome. This looks very nice, almost like they were installed at the factory. Next the tail lights are painted in the appropriate colors using Tamiya Clear Orange and Clear Red. On the Ford Transit the indicators are on top and the brake lights on the bottom. Finally the body and the doors are all airbrushed with Vallejo polyurethane gloss varnish. The interior is scrapped with window cleaning liquid. The window unit has some pits and scratches. I first go over it with wet 1200 grit sandpaper, then go up to 2000 grit. Finally the windows are polished back to transparency with polishing compound for plastic car headlights. The beacons are worn and the front grille has some ugly dents in the plastic that would be very difficult to remove. So it's back to the parts drawers for a set of beacons and a front grille for the Ziku 4 Transit. The donor grille with the indicator lights is cleaned. Then I use a 1mm drawing pen to touch up the grille behind the Ford logo. 
The indicator lights are touched up with Tamiya clear orange. The two blue beacons are sanded with 2000 grit sandpaper to take off the dull spots on the top. Then they are polished in the same way as the windows. The antenna was just a clear plastic strand on this model. As you can see it's still intact on the slightly newer version I have of the same model. Sadly this one is also missing its rear hatch and I prefer to restore the older version with the clear windows. So for now this one won't get restored until I find the spare rear door. Nevertheless it comes in handy as a reference for the antenna. I measure the length, then cut a strand of nylon decoration string to the right length. I form a small dimple on one end by holding the strand against a soldering iron so it won't fall out of the hole. Just don't use your brand new soldering iron for this as the molten plastic will be very hard to remove. The paint is cured and all the parts are cleaned and polished, so it's time for reassembly. First I insert the newly made antenna in the hole in the roof. Then the two beacons drop in place. Attach the rear hatch and drop in the window unit to keep the beacons, the antenna and the rear door in place. Next I attach the side doors and insert the interior. This also keeps the side doors from falling out. The bottom plate is quite fiddly on this model, as the suspension rods and the wheels are loose and tend to fall out at the slightest movement. For the finishing touch I apply the decals for this model. The Polisai lettering on the front, above the windscreen and on the rear door. Since there are no third party decals for Ziku models, I made these decals myself using the appropriate fonts and printing them out with a laser printer on clear decal paper. If you are interested in my decals for this model to restore your own Ziku police van, you can get them for a small fee from my Kofi page. Before we have a look at the result, let's see what we started out with. This Ford Transit police van had seen better days. The paint was flaking, the windows and beacons were dull and it was missing its antenna and two of its doors. And this is our police van after restoration. The Vallejo Model Air Off-White looks very close to the original color. The van is now complete again with all of its doors and some extra detailing on the tail lights to make it pop. The dome tech nails look great as a replacement for the jeweled headlights. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell. More restorations are coming up. See you in the next video.